Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about this titanium road bike. This is Linsky R500. Uh, this is a custom built. I just picked it up right now and uh, haven't done anything to it, haven't ridden it yet. So I just want to show you what the bike really looks like with all these components and group set and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start from the bottom up. In terms of wheel set, I have a pair of Schwable Pro 1 tubeless ready, tubeless tire. These are 28 millimeters and the rims are from NV Foundation 65 with NV hubs. Fork came directly from Linsky and then I also have Linsky titanium seat post. This is three, I believe it's 300 millimeters. Saddle, I went with specialized S-Work mirror with a carbon fiber rail. Super light, I'm surprised how uh, how light the saddle is. And then on the cockpit, I went with um, NV SES Aero Stem. This is 100 millimeters, as well as NV SES um, Aero Handlebars. These are this is 42 millimeters. And then I also went with the uh, their mount NV mount. This just mounts right where the stem is. And in terms of the group set, I went with SRAM, FORCE, ETAP, and then crank set, I went with RET with Quark power meter. I think that's about all of the components and the group set that I have on here. So let's jump right into the frame itself. So once again, this is Linsky R500, and I believe they call this their um, most aggressive stiffness geometry that they have. and that's because of this top tube and the bottom tube here so these are diamond shaped tube 6.4 titanium grade or i don't know the exact technical term for it but i know it's something 6.4 so uh and then i think these round ones are 3.25 something like that so uh forgive me all right, and uh, I don't know a whole lot about the uh, geometry, but I think they really head into uh, modern geometry in terms of this specific bike. And speaking strictly on where the seat stays, mid the seat tube. Normally, most titanium bike, I would normally see seat stays would meet at the end of the seat tube. But in this case, they decided to have the seat stays meet just above, uh, below the uh, seat tube is end of the seat tube is. Um, but that's that, so sporty uh, geometry. And I have also done quite a few upgrades to this frame also. So first of all, this is the finish is in industrial mill finish. And then the letter, I think these letters, I think they call this uh, graphic graphics. This is now in etched graphics. And I also upgraded the head batch in uh, silver titanium. Let me get a good focus on here. All right, guys, I guess for now, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short tour about this custom build Linsky R500. Next video is going to be the ride impression. I don't know when I'm going to uh, be able to do that, but stay tuned. Also, if you guys haven't noticed yet, um, I'm pretty big on titanium frames. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned, um, just follow me or whatever. And I do need to talk about certain type of finish. As far as I know, there are four finish total with, uh, with Linsky. Satin, industrial mill, brush, and polish. And I'm going to have to create another topic or subject for a different video in terms of the finish, why you would want to get one finish versus the other one there's some uh, small purpose about those finish too so um stay tuned uh, i guess yeah see you guys later hopefully you guys enjoy this if you have any questions comments just drop them down below i uh, i'll get back to you guys all right have a good ride all right two more things i've got to mention so first one is these pedals these old pedals i took them off from my light speed a while back so i'm still debating whether or not to go with road pedals or mountain pedals not sure maybe i'll stick with these save myself some money and the other thing that i did to it is i upgraded to um, ceramic speed oversized pulley wheels and yep that should be it all right see you guys next time